Hi, I'm Alessia, and in this Lens Studio tutorial, we are going to cover how to use the face expression template. The face expression template allows you to use the face blend shape weights to drive blend shapes on 3D model. For example, you can get information on the eye blink left expression weights to figure out whether the snap chatter is blinking the eye, with the weight getting closer to zero when the left eye is fully opened, and one when the user's left eye blinks. The template comes with two examples that you can use as a reference. Tick the checkbox next to each example name in order to enable or disable them. The character example provides an example of driving a cartoony character using some of the expression of the face. The face mesh example provides an example of all the facial expressions that you can use to drive your blend shapes. Although you don't need to use all 51 values that are provided, you can use this example to figure out what each expression represents. To do this, first enable the face mesh expressions object in the objects panel. Then in the inspector panel, disable the expression controller script, since we want to control the 3D model ourselves. Next, select the natural object in the objects panel, which contains the actual 3D model. In the Inspector panel, you should see the blend shapes component with all the blend shapes the 3D model contains. Play around with the slider to get a reference of how you can design your face expressions. Take a look at the Lens Studio website to learn more about face expressions and blend shapes. To add your own model into the Lens, drag and drop the 3D model from your computer into the Lens Studio Objects panel. Then let's replace the example with our own model. In the Objects panel, right-click the Natural object and press Delete. Next, let's hook our model to the face expression weight value. In the Objects panel, select the Face Mesh Expressions object which contains the expression controller script that drives blend shapes based on the face expression weights. Then in the Inspector panel, select the Blend Shapes component field and choose the Blend Shape component on your object. At this point, if the blend shapes on your object matches those listed in the face mesh expression example, your model will automatically be driven by the face expression feature. Optionally, you can modify how the expression controller maps your face expressions by toggling the Customize Expression checkbox. All of the expressions are divided into categories and sorted alphabetically for easier search. Tick the box next to the name to see the specific expressions. To modify how each expression is mapped to your 3D model, click the box next to the expression name. The scale parameter is used to multiply actual face expressions weight so you can get exaggerated effect without editing animation in model. That being said, we are continually upgrading the model which understands the shape of the snapshot's face expression. As a result, you should not rely on the scale parameter for big changes. The blend shape field represents the name of the blend shape in 3D model that you want to map to the current face expression blend shape. If your model has eyes, you can move them with the user's eye using the eyeball tracking feature. To do this, drag your model's eyeball object underneath the respective eye object. Optionally, this template also provides a helper script to help you use only the rotation of the eye tracking feature so you can position your model's eyeball manually. To use this helper script, add the copy rotation script to your eye object. Then set the corresponding eyeballs to the source object and your model's eye object to the target objects.
For debug purposes, there is a UI panel that shows different face expressions and their corresponding weights. In the lens preview, you can click and drag through the list to see each expression's value at any given time. When you are done with your lens, you can delete this view by right-clicking the Expressions Debug UI object in the Objects panel and selecting Delete. Nice! Now that we can see that our 3D model is being driven by the Snapchatter's face, we are ready to preview and submit our lens. To preview the lens in Snapchat, click Preview in Snapchat in the top right corner of Lens Studio. Then, open Snapchat and scan the provided snap code. Once Snapchat and Lens Studio are connected, press the Send Lens to Device button. You can now preview your lens in Snapchat. This lens is now ready for submission. For more information on submitting your lens, follow the submission guide in the Lens Studio documentation. Thanks for watching and have fun creating your own lenses using the face expression template.